Hi YouTubers, I'm glad you're all here. Thank you very much for joining me. At about 12.37 p.m. local time there in the Dominican Republic, there was a magnitude 4.7 earthquake. Going to Google Earth, here's the location of that earthquake. And we got Haiti and we got the Puerto Rican Trench. USGS did not fudge about this earthquake. It was actually a magnitude 4.75 and I'll bring it down so those of you that can see this on larger monitors at the bottom it says MD 4.75 and let's go to the seismic signature this is it right here there you go and as you know uh, we got the crushing of yeah all these islands as a North American plate moves south and this is why we got um, magnetic anomalies in this area and if we come out a little farther yeah we got the uh, Pacific plate slowly moving oh probably northeast we got the South American plate uh, going north two different monitors I downloaded the data from and this is what it's currently showing you see just right here in this three hour period we got probably three other earthquakes oh what they did with this earthquake too they actually added in this smaller one that came in later and they even added in um, these two earthquakes also this earthquake was 6.2 miles below sea level and let me close this out because we got another earthquake right here at 1557 that's universal time that earthquake is not being reported for this area here or even for Puerto Rico this earthquake probably was at 1137 a.m. it comes in as a magnitude 3.31 but I shortened up the seismic signature greatly they may have wanted to do it larger but you can see at the bottom 3.31 and we'll go to the spectrogram and I'll bring it up like I said I shorten it and they're not reporting it I only downloaded it a couple hours of earthquakes we got another one here marked in red um, let's look at its seismic signature yeah tectonic and movement being crushed and this one too is marked in red that one comes in as a magnitude 3.67 this one too is also not being reported and we'll go back to the signature now on EMSC about 53 and a half miles or 86 kilometers southeast they said it shook for a couple of seconds and then 119 kilometers east which is about oh 73 miles it says it felt strong there and their bed swayed okay 78 miles east they said it was a bit strong and then we got 129 kilometers which would be about 80 miles east and it says here that it made them feel dizzy yeah a lot of people report that um, prior to or even during and after earthquakes they often feel dizzy in the last month there has been 446 earthquakes on this map and okay there's the location of the 4.7 there is one that's stronger where is that at okay a 5.3 Venezuela oh that's probably oh, right down there okay now that was on the 14th of this month and then we got by Puerto Rico a 4.5 and another 4.5 um yeah i think that's close to where that volcano was erupting but for this location for the Pro puerto rican trench oh, yeah this is the largest one they've had in a month the magnitude 4.7 it looks like the closest town or city is monte christi now usgs gave it an intensity level of seven but here we got uh, intensity level five okay this might be yeah, a Monte Cristi okay intensity level seven 
one response from them that USGS is posting, which means everybody ran outside, damaged to buildings. So that one person must have had damage to their building. And that would depend on the quality of the construction. It also would have been noticed by drivers in automobiles at the time. Now for the reports for intensity level 5, yep, people all felt it. And they had some breakage of windows and dishes and plaster. And things would have fallen over. So right there, uh, Monte Cristi also, Monte Cristi. And I'm not going to try and pronounce that. So Monte Christie's up here. And the other one that said they had breakage is down over here. I, I noticed this line. It almost looked like the island um, towards the west. This part of the island probably being shoved more. Because see how this is formed? kind of being pushed towards the south within this location and those are the two areas that felt the earthquake the most yeah earthquakes are definitely ramping up sending prayers to you guys you know what to do i'm sure you've discussed it about large earthquakes you guys have been hit um yeah back in 1882 there was a magnitude 8.1 and as you know, any earthquake has a 20% chance of being a foreshock for something much larger. That was on May 7th of 1842, and it created a tsunami. Yeah, a lot of people died. There's a lot more people living there now than there was back in 1842. Yep, sending prayers. Always be prepared for a disaster. Uh, what are your thoughts? Put those comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe and I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.